Oh, hi there. Um, this is Mr. Waterman, and we are on to lesson 1.2 of Math 9. Um, we're raring to go. It's the integers and orders operations unit, and we're talking about multiply and dividing integers today. So, what I want to do is I want you to look at um, I want you to look at the amount. I want you to look at the pattern that we see here. Um, so let's just choose an ink color here. And so we're going to look at the examples below that I'm going to put down, and I want you to see if you can spot any patterns. All right, so we're going to go 2 times negative 3, and we get negative 6. All right, the next one we have is negative 2 times 4, and we get negative 8. All right, so making sure you're looking for the patterns. Then we've got negative 3 times 0, and we get, oh, 0. Next, we've got negative 3 times negative 2, and we get positive 6. And then finally, we have negative 2 times negative 4, and we get positive 8. All right, so take a look at those patterns and see if you, you know, think about it for a second here. What can you conclude about these um, multiplications? All right, next, I want you to try this. We've got negative 6 divided by 2, and we get negative 8. 3. All right, then we've got negative 8 divided by negative 2, and we get positive 4. Then we have 6 divided by negative 2, and we get, oh, we get negative 3 again. And finally, we have 8 divided by 4, and we get 2, positive 2. All right, so we've got some equations there, and I want you to take a look at those patterns. What can you think about? What can you see? What patterns can you see? Well, below we have a little, we have some rules. And these are the rules that we, that guide us to multiply and divide integers. So, the product of two positive integers, now product means timesing. All right, so when we find the product of two integers, we're multiplying them. All right, so the product of two positive integers is always positive. All right, next we have the product of two negative integers. Well, guess what? Two negatives always make a positive when we are multiplying. All right, next we've got the product of a positive and negative integer always equals a negative. All right. So we've got product of two positive integers equals positive. The product of two negative integers equals positive. And then when we multiply a positive and a negative together, we get a negative. All right, so the quotient, well, this means, quotient means we're dividing. All right, we're finding out how many groups of something are inside of something. So the quotient of two positive integers, well, you guessed it, it's positive. And then we have the quotient of two negative integers. So we went negative 8 divided by negative 2, and we got a positive integer. Finally, the quotient of a positive and negative integer is always going to be negative. So you got to make sure we remember these. We're going to write something down here. All right? So if we look back at those numbers, we can see those rules. So multiply. and divide two integers with the same sign, we get a positive. All right, so multiply and divide two integers with the same sign, we get a positive answer. So let's look up here, right? And we're just going to go up, bam, and bam. So product of two positive integers, we get a positive. The product of two negative integers, we get a positive. And we also get that right here. All right, next, we have multiply and divide. two integers with different signs
we get a negative. All right? And that leads us to these two. All right, so let's do a few examples. And you guys will have lots of practice on this tomorrow. All right, so we have negative 5 times negative 4, and we get positive 20. All right, then we have negative 3 times 8, and we get negative 24. We had a positive times a negative, and we get a negative answer. All right, we have two negatives. Well, we're going to get a positive, same as if we had two positives. Um, negative 10 divided by negative 5. All right. Well, how many times does negative 5 go into negative 10? Well, twice. And we have the same sign, so we're going to get a positive. All right. Next, we've got negative 12 divided by 4, and we're going to get negative 3. All right. Let's go over to the next page. Those were pretty good. And I would like you to try these next two questions. All right. Or actually, let's do some more examples for you. Sorry. Do Two more examples. We'll go negative 6 and times 8, and the whole thing has to be divided by 2. Now, there's no, there's no sign in there. There's just a little space. This means if there's nothing in there, it means multiply. And we're going to go negative 48 divided by 2. So we did the top, and then we did the bottom, and then we're going to simplify this fraction. We get negative 24. All right. Try this one on your own, please. So negative 4, I mean, sorry, negative 2 times 4 plus negative 3 times 4 times negative 2. All right? Try that. Have a good rest of the day.